Sí. Naam karibu tena. Na waziri wa Kawi na Maputa Davis Churchill amesema kuwa laini ya umeme ya muhoroni kuelekea Kisumu ndio ilizidiwa baada ya kubeba umeme mwingi kupita kiasi kusababisha kupotea kwa nguvu za umeme katika maeneo mengi nchini kwa saa kadhaa usiku kwa mkeleo. Kulingana na waziri Churchill laini hiyo ilikuwa imebeba megawati 148 ilhali ilisahili kubeba megawati 80 pekee wakati wa tukio hilo. Waziri huyu amekishia Kenya kuwa wizara yake imeanzisha mikakati kwa kisha hali hii haijirudi ikiwemo kuweka laini nyingine katika eneo hilo. Miss and we are addressing those challenges. Uh, it's bound to happen again but we will look at serious maintenance but the gist of it is lack of investment in the network for a long time. And when I go through my statement you'll appreciate that the fact that we've continued to connect customers on the last mile We've continued to build industry and we've not built a network in the last five, six, seven years. And there is so much constraint in the transmission uh, of electrons from wherever they are generated. And sometimes the network drips when it is overloaded. Yesterday was caused by an overload uh, between Kisumu, Moroni, uh, when there was sudden uh, demand uh, and the line that between Kisumu and uh, Moroni is dimensioned to carry 80 megawatts. Uh, when the line went down, it was carrying 120 megawatts, and suddenly there was a demand of an additional 20 megawatts on that line. Uh, for a line to be carrying 149 megawatts when it is designed for 80, it felt threatened and it dripped and cascaded down to the rest of the country. So, um, On the 10th December 2023 yesterday at about 7:33 uh, p.m. in the evening the country experienced a partial blackout on the electric power system with Musaga substation supplying parts of western region remaining on supply from Uganda the system demand at the time of incident was 1732 megawatts um, with the hydros performing well the geothermal performing well uh, the thermal and wind was at its optimal and so was the uh, ethiopia uh, we have uh, a power project with ethiopia which we've signed at 200 megawatts it was transmitting at 194 megawatts at that time so it was working well at that total and we had our spinning reserve from the hydros uh, our spinning reserve is if anything happens the spinning reserve will pick up And, and support the network. So there was enough spinning reserve to be able to support the network. So it wasn't as such um, lack of adequate power in the system. Na wakilishi kutoka shirika la kimataifa la kiatomiki wakiongozwa na naibu mkurugenzi mkuu 